Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and try to finish this piece up. So the first thing you're going to do is actually we're going to add in this loop here. But before that, I'm just going to go ahead and move this edge down. So use our interactive split and we're going to make a cut all the way from here to the bottom like so okay now once we have that I think we're gonna go ahead and clean this bit up so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these edges and also this one and I think we're gonna go ahead and sort all this stuff out here Ooh. So I'm just going to select this vertex and that vertex and snap it here and I'm going to have a look on the bottom, the bottom looks fine and I'm also going to go ahead and join this bottom piece up. I think what we're also going to do, we're going to get rid of um, all of this because I think it will be easier for us temporarily. So just going to select all of them, delete that. Uh, we'll add it back in later on. But I think for now it might be easier for us to get rid of that. So we're going to select these and extrude offset zero, drag down a bit, extrude again, offset zero, drag down, all the way, I think, yep. So now let's go ahead and sort these out. So we're going to use our merge vertex tool. And I think it was that one to that. And here as well, that goes to there. This goes here. This one will go here and that goes there, that goes there and we're just going to move this vertex to about here move this one up a bit like so Okay, and now we can go ahead and delete this edge because we don't need that one anymore. Right, so now that we have that, I think the next thing we're going to do is add in this loop on the bottom. So I'm going to start here. And just use my insert edge loop tool. Add it in here. And then use my interactive split tool again and snap it there and then we're gonna have to do it here as well okay so that's looking good well the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a loop going around here so probably the easiest way of doing this is use our insert edge loop and we're going to first add one here like so and then add one around there and now what we're going to have to do is 
we're going to go ahead and I want this loop to go around so actually I think I'm going to get rid of this and also we're going to get rid of these on the bottom as well like so okay and now we can go ahead and try to add in an edge loop here and it won't go all the way around as you can tell because there's a five sided face now so I'm just going to add one here and then we're going to use our merge vertex tool if I find it there we go and we're going to merge this one to here and we're going to do the same thing on the bottom so we're going to merge this to there ok so that way we don't have a triangle in there so that's looking pretty good so basically now we have a loop going all the way around here like so so that's looking good and now I think we can go ahead and start adding in the um, rest of the loops that we need so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna add one around here but for some reason does not like it so let's go ahead and investigate what's going on probably the easiest way it's gonna be is if we just select the object and then go to mesh clean up faces with more than four sides apply and it will tell me that this face got more than four sides and it's because of this edge they're not meant to be there so I'm just going to delete that and then let's try again insert edge loop and there we are now it's working just fine I'm also going to add one in here and let's just look around this side as well that looks fine so let's go ahead and smooth this okay and that looks pretty good to me right now what I want to do is I also want to go ahead in my side view and are we gonna I think it's gonna be probably about here hmm actually I think we'll leave it as it is just checking my side view if everything's fine and it is and just come out of my isolation mode go ahead and smooth this just to see how it's looking looks pretty good so now we have that we can actually go ahead and um, unsmooth this go into our front view we're gonna go ahead and delete these faces around the edge okay and then we can go ahead and duplicate this and then scale minus in the X I think yep oh before we do that we're actually gonna go ahead and clean this up so I'm just gonna select all of those vertices and scale and then I'm gonna also select if I can all of those and scale and I might even go ahead and move them a bit to about here hopefully we didn't mess anything up just to make sure I have and I'll smooth it just to make sure we don't get any issues and that looks good so now we can go back into a front view on smooth duplicate put a minus sign in the X and then I'm gonna go ahead and drag this pretty close if 
around maybe a bit closer probably around there and select both of them go to mesh combine and then just isolate it and then unisolate it again so you get the new shape now you go and go ahead and select all of these middle vertices and then go to merge vertices merge vertices with probably about 0.01 threshold just click apply and then I'm going to go around and look around the model make sure that we didn't get any issues around here so they all merged fine okay so that's good just gonna reset my view and now we can go ahead and get rid of this edge like so okay so pretty not looking pretty good and let me just get up by the reference image that I have right so we're gonna go ahead and now make that extrusion so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a loop I'm trying to think of the best way of doing this we're gonna need like a loop here and here and I think just so it doesn't mess with this bit we are gonna go ahead and add our loop in somewhere around um I don't know what all right okay sorry I got confused there for a sec so I'm gonna add one um probably roughly around here and I'm also gonna add one roughly around here and then I can go ahead and select these faces <coughs> I'm going to select this, this and this and that and that and that and that and this and that Ooh, we didn't need that one, sorry right, so I need them three I'm going to go ahead and hit extrude drag it out I'll just have a look in my side view that looks fine like so probably a little bit less something like that and then now all we gotta do is just add in the support and loop for this so you're gonna need a loop going here and for some reason you get a little bit of a issue around here which is strange so let me just go ahead and undo this so deselect that face Make sure I got all right one selected. Go then hit the extrude again. And just give it some thickness. And it for some reason it does not like that at all. So let's go ahead. Um hit the extrude again and just drag it out only a little bit so I can see if this is getting messed up or not and it looks fine now I'm just going to go ahead and select this vertex that vertex don't really understand why it's getting messed up like this but it's fine we're going to go ahead and sort this out 
for some reason our pivots are really messed up. So let's try to go ahead and move this down. I think I'll also go ahead and go to modify center pivot on this in case that got anything to do with this. It seems like it doesn't. I mean, even if you leave it like that, that will be fine. It will be just pretty close to that edge. So for now, I'll just leave it. And instead, what we're going to do is add in the rest of the loops. And let's go ahead and hit smooth. And for some reason, this extrusion is not happy at all. Alright, I left out a loop. That might be the reason why. So you're going to need one around here. Also around here. Right, okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so we got that piece sorted as well. Now in our side view, um, I'm going to go ahead and select these vertices and I'm going to go ahead and drag these up. So I want this to be a bit tighter, something like a square like this. So once we go ahead and actually add in the um, screw bit, it will be easier for us. I'm also going to go ahead and make this bit a little bit longer. So I'm just going to drag it out. Okay, so that looks pretty good for now. Um, in the next part we're going to go ahead and let me just have a look how we're looking we're looking pretty good um, in the next part we're going to go ahead and start making the um, next finger and we're also going to go ahead and build this joint um, where he's going to move and we're looking alright so far so I'll see you guys in the next part